Highness, this is unexpected. Had I been made aware of your arrival, I would have mustered the troops. I'm not here to inspect your men. I see. Then to what do we owe the honor? How long have military operations in Alfheim gone on now, Georg? Eight? No, nine years? Nine years to see the Emperor's, my father's, will done. And somehow, victory yet eludes us. The Emperor wishes to convey his impatience. He desires results. To that end, I come bearing the burden of command. By the Emperor's will, the invasion of Alfheim continues under my supreme authority. Your Beowulf now obeys me. I'll hear objections. I have none, Your Highness. We of Beowulf, the Knight Sanguine, have thus far failed in delivering our Emperor his conquest. If His Majesty has seen fit to grant us a second chance, though undeserving, we humbly accept. Enough then. Let's not speak of apologies and humility. Instead, let us speak as I transition into my new role as commander. I admit confusion on a matter I'd like explained. This boy, the alleged bearer of the Shining Dragon. I've reviewed all your compiled intelligence, and yet not one report in the lot mentioned the dragon at all. Not even in passing. Explain this to me. We judge that information unfit to be reported on, Your Highness. Not worth reporting? Surely I misheard. The mightiest of his kin, a legend amongst even other dragons. You mean to tell me the discovery of the Shining Dragon himself doesn't even deserve a footnote? Perhaps it's best I let the man I assigned to it explain. Joachim? Yes, yes, a perfectly understandable query. We heard rumors the child possessed the Shining Dragon, so we acquired him. We've since spent a great deal of time observing his growth, but sadly we were unable to detect the Shining Dragon's energy signature. He still was able to channel pure dragon energy on his own, however. I was in the midst of running tests for that at the time. So hopefully it's clear why we chose as we did. The official reports are reserved for confirmed, verified intelligence only. Hmm. I see. I'll remember your discretion as I conduct my new duties. Still, the Shining Dragon. Can this power of mine tame even you, I wonder? Hey, we talking about the Shining Dragon in here? Like the special mythical one? Is he really all that? Hmm? Zest, you're late. Care to explain yourself and show some respect? I'll not tolerate your lip in the presence of Her Highness. Already crawling up my back, Georg? I'm not gonna be rude. Hey, Princess. You brought your Draco Machina with you, right? So between them and the Shining Dragon, who do you think is stronger, huh? Between the Shining Dragon and my three spears? I cannot say. He fled before any true test of strength could be had. But the spears have already communed with me on this matter. They prescribe caution in dealing with him. Nothing more. I see. So he might actually be fun to play around with, is what you're saying. Like if your big, fancy machina aren't up to snuff. Zest! I told you to mind your t What? Just calling it like I see it. Zest! Fine, fine, I'll just go. Later. Georg, who was that man? Ah, uh, oh, Zest. Yes, my strongest lieutenant. Strongest of all the Knights Sanguine, in fact. I see. Less fortunately, he has a certain temperament. As his captain, I regret to report his mood swings are... difficult to work around. Hmm. I thought I felt a measure of power in him. If he's as unruly as you say, that is misfortunate. Well, no matter. I have concluded my business here for the day. We'll continue planning on the morrow. Thy will be done, Highness. Before you go, though, be- Standing by, sir. I couldn't help but notice you didn't bring your retainers, Highness. Please, I would have you employ Beatrice instead. You'll find her capable. My name is Beatrice. It will, of course, be my pleasure to serve your Highness. A bender of shadow? How fascinating. 
Very well, Beatrice. You may accompany me for the duration. Thy will be done. With me, then. Let's be off. Let me guess, before you start. Don't leave her side for even a moment, and make sure her every need is seen to. Something Something like that. Does it still hurt? You're safe now. I promise. What's going on? Hey, no moving! Stop! You'll reopen your wounds! I see. I'm having... a dream? Which means this is... back then. Please! I know it hurts, but you can't move! Oh... No, no, no! If you're in that much pain... Oh, I know! I'll cast a spell to numb the pain, all right? Just hold still a moment longer. Here goes! Ready? That's right. I remember now. That... girl... her name, why can't I... remember... Radiance, you're awake. W where You're in Marga, Your Radiance. The royal capital of Astoria. I see. And you're a... Kirika, right? Kirika Toa Alma of Wellant. I'm also known as the Diva Magica. Please, call me Kirika. All right, Kirika. Nice to meet you. Diva like a singer, right? Oh. Originally, we were translators, I suppose. Divas once acted as bridges between men and dragons. When dragons still roamed the world, there was peace. They spoke to us, taught us, sang to us in their ancient... Though the dragons are gone now, and the skies over Alfheim are empty, we... A new diva magica begins training from a very early age. Not just to... That's how it was for me, anyway. I applied myself to my training, but it always felt... I always knew you returned to us. That's why I've been studying, playing my heart out, and... And now you're really here! Uh, my apologies, Your Radiance. I allowed zeal to overcome... Uh, okay. Kirika, you... I understand, Master Yuma. Perhaps not in fleshly... Okay, I'm the Shining Dragon. Honestly, I'm just glad to have someone looking after... Good morning, Kirika. How's he doing? Oh... Oh, he's awake? And that was Primula. Her mother Emma runs this place. Ah, uh, the seagull... Mom, look! Oh my, good to see your eyes open, dear. You gave us... I... I did? Breakfast is ready, so why don't you come down and put something in your stomach? Oh, and the... Pr the princess? In time, your radiance. I think you'll understand after... Good morning. You had a rough night. Hmm. What's wrong? You s I, uh... She said I was... A print. Oh, for the love of... Hey! Hmm? Oh, right. Hold on. Y you're... Uh, what? Like it's that hard to believe? Sonia Blanche, crown princess of a sto... M my name is... Yuma Ilvert. Hey, nah, -uh. None of that. No... Y you got it, but, uh... What's the crown? Well, excuse us for being regular and old. We're the top. <laughs> Easy now, Primula. Dragoneers. That's what Excella and Kirika. Uh, no, not personally. So, um, Yuma. Weird question, but can we? Sonia, I think it would be better if the king explained. You're right. Can you? I'm a little uneasy about all this royalty stuff, but okay. Wherever you. <laughs>
Welcome, Sir Yuma. I am out. Yes, sir. Oh, come, Sir Yuma. No need. Sure, that. Very good. Now, Yuma. The, um. Th then we're all on the same page. However, let me first assure you of your freedom in this hall. You alone will choose whether to lend us your. If I may be so presumptuous, I would. For nearly a decade now, Astoria has. Marga's fortifications have seen. Then there are refugees fleeing occupied lands. I understand. I've, when I was at Galritz, I saw... Will you help us? I want to stop them too, I really do. To what? It's not like he's evil. No, no, not evil. Ugh, then make a decision, why don't you? What It, uh... Answer me! This is all about... Uh, if you've come this far just to clam up... Sonia, enough. Yuma can hardly make... What? No. Uh, no, I'm sorry, you... Please excuse my display. And you, can you forgive me? No, it's okay. Mm. In the you did, after all, just escape from Imperial Prison. Perhaps shall we take a break for now? A mo you are dismissed, you. Please take whatever time. Yes, if you say.
Well, Uncle Burroughs, this is the... Ah, about time. The king filled me in. Come... Uh, hi. Oh, forgive me, Yuma. I should have mentioned. Captain, if you're making a visit to the Seagull, that must mean you've got work for the Dragoneers, right? Right you are, my lady. A hunting contract. Seems something big is out there. What? A monster? More than your knights can handle if you're... Well, the knights of Astoria... I see. Hey, Sonia. There are other Dragoneers besides... Three of them, all told, yeah. Kirika and two others all use the Seagull Inn as their base of operation. And when the throne doesn't have official contracts to offer, they go around assisting... There's not a soul in Marga who can't tell you a story about a stout-hearted... Astoria owes generations of peace... By playing their harmonics, they can channel special magic and perform feet. Harmonics? Is that what you call those... Mm-hmm. Long ago, the Shining Dragon... There are supposedly seven... And the last one's in the care of that if... Well, it... Oh, but is... Well, Astoria and Wellentine relations are peaceful. <laughs> At any rate, I should go and see about this... You're going all by yourself? I can't just demand a Dragonair's time without doing any scouting first now, can I? It's my... Be that as it may, my lady. Maybe take Yuma with you all the... <laughs> me? <laughs> Don't worry, Captain Burroughs. It's... Uh... Emma, could you make Yuma some tea? Ah, my lady. Emma, why didn't you stop her? Now I have to... Plans? What in the world? Uh, nothing. Yeah, I... Now, how to fix... Little coward, are you letting the princess totter off and... Huh? B but sh No excuses. Get after... Wait, why? I'd do as he says, Your Radiance. <sighs> fine, fine. Allow me to accompany you, Your Radiance.
enemy approaching. Thank you. 